Jinx can be used both in the testing environment and in the development and debugging environments. In this presentation I will demonstrate both. I'll start with a command line demo that shows the difference Jinx can make in automated testing. Then I'll demonstrate the integration of Jinx with Visual Studio. I'll show you how to debug a program that has a concurrency bug. In particular, debug it using Jinx's Smart Stop technology. I have compiled a sample program that came with Jinx. It's an implementation of a log-free stack which contains a subtle bug. Later I'll show you the source code, but for now let's just run the program. To simulate a testing environment, I have a simple batch file that just runs the program 10 times. The test is running, and you can see it passes with flying colors. This is typical for subtle concurrency bugs. They require a rare interleaving of threads to manifest themselves. All 10 tests passed. Now let me do the same with Jinx. I have Jinx installed on this machine and it's idling in the background. I can tell Jinx to run any program under its supervision. In particular, I can run the same test batch file under Jinx without any modifications. Jinx run cmd slash c run test. The results are now completely different. As you can see, the test fails every single time. After a bug is discovered in testing, it goes back to development for debugging. I'll show you how to use Jinx with Visual Studio 2010. First, let's have a look at the source code to see where the bug is. This is the stackpop function. It modifies a shared variable, stack top, in a thread safe way. It's calling interlocked compare exchange pointer. That's good. No problem. In contrast, the function stack push is not thread safe. It does a test and set of the same variable stack top, but it does it in two separate operations. So there is a window between test and set during which another thread might perform a push and invalidate the result of the test. However, this window is very small. The other thread must perform a write between the first thread's two instructions in order to trigger the bug. First, let me reproduce the bug. When I installed Jinx on this machine, it automatically integrated itself with Visual Studio. For instance, I can open a dockable Jinx panel from the menu, Tools, Jinx. I can also start the program under Jinx directly from the debug menu debug, start debugging with Jinx. Let's see what happens. The bug is hit almost immediately. Jinx was able to analyze the sequence of operations performed by each thread, and then it ran multiple simulations to find a particular timing that led to a program crash. Let me go into the debugger. Break. Let me see what the various threads are doing. I'm using the feature of Visual Studio 2010 called Parallel Stacks to graphically display threads. As you can see, one of the threads hit the assertion in assert stack contains. Here it is. So we have successfully uncovered a bug. 
but we still don't know what caused the corruption of the stock. Other threads have been stopped at pretty much random locations long after they caused the corruption. Fortunately, Jinx has another useful feature called Smart Stop. Since Jinx is tracking all communications between threads, it can rewind the threads back to the point of their last communication, which is much more likely to be the source of the bug. So let me enable Smart Stop here and then run the program again debug start debugging with jinx this time a different message box pops up it's jinx telling us that smart stop was successfully triggered okay as before one thread hit the assertion this one but this time another thread was caught red-handed. Let's see here. Here's a thread that was stopped by SmartStop right after performing a suspicious operation. Visual Studio shows the line of code to be executed next so let's look at the line before that. This is exactly the store into the shared memory location stack top that has corrupted the stack. It must have happened right between the other threads test and set in the same code fragment. We can even peek at the assembly code to verify what the last instruction was. I'm pressing Alt Eight. The yellow arrow shows the instruction to be executed next and the previous instruction here is the one that caused the corruption. As you can see Jinx can be used for both testing and development. It doesn't require modifications to the source code or to the testing environment. It integrates tightly with the Visual Studio debugging environment, it can force concurrency bugs to happen, and it can stop the threads under the debugger right at the crime scene before they get a chance to execute more code and cover their tracks.